Hello there, Aries. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of April 18th through the 24th. On Monday, what we have coming up for you... Oops, I just realized I don't have my phone on silent. Oh, I do too. <laughs> anyway, on Monday, what we have coming up for you is the Sun card showing up in reverse. And the Sun card in reverse is just telling me that Monday you're going to have a pretty decent day. You're going to be doing some of the things that you really want to do. Um, and you're going to be doing them mostly the way that you want to do them. But there is going to be a little bit of outside interference. There's going to be somebody kind of looking over your shoulder and saying, you know what? I really like that, but I wish you would do it like da 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 <laughs> So you're going to have to be sort of meeting in the middle on that. But overall, I think you're going to be pretty happy with what you're getting to work on, even if you do have to make a few adjustments here and there. Now, on Tuesday, what you have showing up is the Queen of Cups. This is someone that you are interacting with on Tuesday. This is, um, for most of you, a female, although not for all of you. And this is somebody who is very um, comfortable with her emotions. I feel like she is going to be sharing some of her emotions with you on Tuesday, going to be telling you how she feels about something. This may be about you. I feel like, though, for most of you, this is somebody that you're going to be hearing from, and she is going to be talking about not exactly how she feels about you, but how she feels about some kind of action or behavior that you have taken. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, on Wednesday, what you have coming up, Aries, is you do have the death card, and the death card just talks about transition. It's a time of change. And when I have the death card, because it is major arcana, this is a major type of change. So this is looking at some of your core values and realizing that, you know, maybe those old thought patterns or those old behaviors don't really help me as much as I used to think that they helped me. And so it might be time to change some of those. This is generally a process. I don't see it happening all in one day. But I think on Wednesday, you're going to start to notice and start to realize that that is going on for you. Now, on Thursday, what we have showing up is the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is my pity party card, guys. So this is a general reading. So first of all, not everything that comes up here will apply to every single Aries. The second thing you need to know is that free will changes anything. So if you see anything here that you don't like, all you have to do is adjust the energy, even just a little bit sometimes, and you can change how that goes. So you don't have to have a pity party is basically what I'm trying to tell you here. But Thursday so far, the energy looks like for you that you will be having a pity party. Um, a lot of people have them. We all have them actually. And they feel really justified when we have them. I mean, there's no reason not to. We deserve it. Uh, the only thing is they really make us feel kind of terrible. <laughs> and they make those people around us feel kind of terrible. Not fun. Why would you do that? Let's have fun. Um, you know, be responsible, but still let's have fun. So what the, what the really the advice that comes up anytime the pity party shows up is look at the opportunities that are around you. Be grateful for those good things that are around you. Appreciate those good things that are around you and push with those. Move forward with those instead of having the pity party. It'll be so much easier on you and the people around you. I know some of you don't want to make it easy on the people around you. At least make it easy on yourself. All right, so Friday. Six of coins showing up in reverse. Six of coins in reverse just means somebody is going to be coming to you for some kind of help on Friday. This could be financial help. A lot of times with a coins card it is, but there's a lot of different ways that people need help and ask for help. Maybe they need some of your time. Maybe they need your shoulder to cry on. Maybe they need some advice. Um, could be a lot of different ways that this shows up, but somebody asking you for help of some sort on um, Friday. Now on Saturday, what we have coming up is the Fool card. And the Fool card just means this is the beginning of something new. Oh my goodness, I just realized it's also followed on Sunday by the High Priestess. That's really great. <laughs> That's two great cards to have back to back. Woohoo! Okay, so the Fool card, card talks about starting something new. It also talks about that, that something new is something that comes out of your intuition or out of your gut feelings. And um, it may not seem so logical. It may not be something that you can really justify doing logically to yourself or to your friends. So you may not have a lot of support on this, but you are taking that leap of faith just because you know it feels like the right thing to do for you. 
Now this is really a fantastic card because it's the beginning of a new journey of trust. <coughs> Excuse me. I was trying to hit the mute button. I didn't quite make it. I apologize, guys. Okay, so the Fool card is a new journey of trust, and it's trust in sacred spirit, knowing that spirit's the one that gave you the inner knowing or that gut feeling and following through with it. And I really like to see the Fool card because when you start out on a journey like that and you're really trusting that intuition, what happens is sacred spirit notices. It's almost like he says, hey, look at that human. They're paying attention to their intuition. Wow, we've got a you know, if we're, they're going to listen to what we have to say, then we've got to back them up now. <laughs> and so it's the beginning of a fantastic journey. As long as you stay tuned in to what Sacred Spirit is saying, stay tuned in to that intuition, then you can go, uh, the, well, the boundaries are just limitless. You can go as far as you want to go. So it's really an amazing thing to have that back and forth between Sacred Spirit and yourself. And so I'm excited to see you guys begin on some kind of journey like that. Now, like I said, Sunday, you have the High Priestess coming up. That's a really cool card, too. And it's really, it's almost like the neighbor to the fool. It is encouraging you to listen to your intuition. So you started out Saturday listening to your intuition. Sunday, listen to your intuition as well. You're going to get a lot of um, information and a lot of benefit from following your intuition on Sunday, Aries. So that's your week. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic, fantastic week. I will see you back here the next time. Peace out.